Welcome to the show today, and it's Valentine's Day. I want to say Happy Valentine's Day to everybody today, February 14th, 2023. And I don't own a red shirt. I have a red little top, a dress like that I wear to dance in, but I wore pink today for Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. And I know I did the butterfly cut to my hair, but I didn't style it, so I like to put it up. And I have a hair clip, a pink hair clip, to match my shirt for Valentine's Day. And I also have an eye appointment today, so I should very, very shortly have a new pair of glasses. These are about four years old now, three or four, I guess. It's time for an eye appointment. Sometimes you don't take care of yourself. But to help other people, you have to take care of yourself, too. Like, eat healthy. I'm guilty because I'm a food addict of eating the wrong foods a lot. So, if you try to eat healthy, that's important. And uh, take your vitamins, D3, uh, B, the complex B vitamins, and even vitamin C, and vitamin E, even. That's for your skin. And you can see, oh, my skin needs a lot of help, but... We all have a disease in a family, someone who has something like diabetes. I'm down under the carport now, so diabetes and high cholesterol. and It's all things that I believe, if you'd watch Dr. Eric Berg, his name's Eric, I think with a C, E-R-I-C, and Berg is B-E-R-G. Look him up on YouTube. He makes so much sense. Dr. Eric Berg. I recommend him highly. Tell all your friends, all your neighbors, all your loved ones, anyone that you should listen to his videos because he makes sense and I agree with what he's saying because when I do it, all my blood work comes out normal. And also uh, Bright Line Eating, which is, um, I can't remember her name offhand, the girl who wrote Bright Line Eating, that book. Susan Pierce Thompson, I think, Bright Line Eating. That works too if you don't want to give up like a grain in the morning. You're allowed one like small grain. I think four ounces of it or one ounce of certain things before you cook it like oatmeal, like the healthy oatmeal. So I recommend uh, Susan Pierce Thompson's book. Um, Bright Line Eating or watch the videos from Dr. Eric Berg, and he talks about keto, but he talks about being healthy too, if you want to live 10 extra years, because we're not all getting out of here, unless the rapture happens, and if you're not a Christian, you don't believe that's going to happen, so either way, we're all going out of here one way, we're going to have to physically die, you don't have to die um, spiritually, because we can go on, I believe the Bible's the truth, so recommend reading the Bible every day, at least, you know, a couple chapters, and if you're not up to it, read just a couple verses, and um, today is Valentine's Day, so we give hearts, and candy hearts, and chocolate hearts, and flowers, red roses, it's about love, but I think the original Valentine, don't, you can look it up on YouTube, because I don't know the story that well, but I think he actually was either executed or killed, and he wrote a a letter to someone and signed it because his last name was Valentine. Your Valentine. Oh, there's a small Cessna plane going overhead. It's a red one. I can't get it on video, but maybe I can. Let's see. Just going overhead. I don't think I got it, but anyway. Yes, I think Valentine, your Valentine, he was actually killed, executed, or whatever punished for something he did. I don't even know the whole story, but just look it up on Google. If it's Sometimes the Google searches, I don't know, I'm not going to comment about that. But anyway, it's Valentine's Day. I hope you're having a great Valentine's Day. My dog's enjoying herself. Looking all around here in the yard. And... I'm going to go swing and sing. You can sing and you can even dance. It's allowed for your health. Dancing's good for you. I try to dance every single day. 
Getting on the swing. I got the swing for Valentine's Day. So I just want to say happy Valentine's Day. And I hope you're doing things for yourself and you can help others then when you feel good. And that you're doing what's right morally and helping others and that they help you. You, then me, then you, then me. If we all helped each other, like the Bible said, if we were all concerned about others, love the Lord your God with all your heart, your mind, soul, strength. Love your neighbors as yourself. Love yourself, too, first. Take care of yourself, too. Not meaning you're above them, but before you can help others, sometimes you need to make sure you're healthy. That's what my point is. Love God first, then your spouse, then your kids, then your family. And if you feel good and do good, and if they were helping you and you were helping them, me, then you, then me, then you, you, then me, then you, then me, you, then, that's what it is, you, then me, you, then me. If we were all like, oh, no, you go, oh, no, you go, uh, it would be such a wonderful world, but it's not like that. But I hope, oh, that's a big word, but, and if, if, if this, if that, if this, if we have enough money, we can buy something. <laughs> So with the recession now, well, it's not yet, but it seems like it's inevitable. And then these liberal states that they tell you the news before they really know what the truth is. <laughs> anyway, I just hope you're having a great Valentine's Day and happy Valentine's Day. And just keep dancing. <laughs>